Hello everybody. Today I'm going to explain how to solve the problem D, Phoenix and Science from the code for this round 638 division 2. In this problem, we are given a bacteria and we need to find the minimum number of days we can use in order to make the sum of the masses of the bacterium equal to n. And we are given some operations which we can do in order to increase the mass. At the first glance, one can observe that it doesn't matter which masses we are going to have, a fact stated by the output format, because we are required only to print the split itself, not the masses of the bacteria. And this makes the problem a bit easier to approach. Also, another important detail is that every day we can split as many bacteria as we want, as long as we don't split a bacteria twice in a day. So basically, in each day, we can double the number of bacteria we have. This observation is going to be very important because it helps us find a simple proof that we can get to at least a sum equal to n in a matter of few days. Like, if we are going to double every day, we are going to reach 10 to the 9th in about 30 days or something. Like a good estimation is logarithm in base 2 of n. And this will be our motivation to solve the problem. Now I'm going to move to the sketchpad for more details. Now I'm going to explain my solution based on the second sample, which has n equal to 11. And since the number of days, as I said, is quite small, and we're not sure if we can achieve uh, the required answer in each day, like if we can achieve it in day i, we are not sure that we can also achieve it in day i plus one, because there can be a case when n is small and the number of days is just too big and the bacteria will get too big. So because the answer is quite small, we are just going to simulate for each i. For i. And this will help us get the following intuition. Let's say we are at some day x. And we have a number of bacteria i. And we know that our maximum mass is going to be z. We also know that we can double at most i bacteria, so we can get to at most 2 multiplied by i. And uh, this will help us get a greedy solution based on just mass. So if we know how much we are left with, which in this case is equal to n minus z, we can determine the gain we will get if we split the bacteria at the day x. If we split one bacteria, our gain is going to be equal to uh, the, the number of days we fix, which is i, minus x, plus 1, because we can firstly do the split and then do the growth. So the gain will be equal to i minus x plus 1. And it's optimal to split whenever we can, as long as we don't get over the limit, which is n. And this can be done quite easily using a simple check, basically a for loop. So I'm going to move to the submission to explain the code, which got created fast from the first attempt. Here I'm going to fix the number of days we are going to use, which is an integer from 1 to 400. This limit can be obviously short, bigger or smaller, but it doesn't matter since the algorithm will run fast enough. As you can see, the time is 31 milliseconds. And in, uh, in the checking function, in the count array, we are going to store how many bacteria we have after each day. And in the day x, we are going to find the maximum amount of bacteria we can split 
such that we can we don't get over the limit which is basically either the number of bacteria at the previous day because as i said we can't split a bacteria more than once or the num the ratio between the n and the remaining mass divided by i minus x plus 1 as i mentioned earlier and now we are just going to add to the counter of the x the counter from the previous day since we can't divide any bacteria and we are also going to add the number resulted here this line is probably the most important because it expresses the gain from one day assuming we are going to use this and we will use this and the gain will be equal to the maximum ratio multiplied by i minus x plus 1 it's just the reverse of this expression and if we got to n the answer is true otherwise it's false and based on the smallest answer we got we are going to use the same approach in order to construct the solution the algorithm is the same except we have to print the array of differences to tell us how many bacteria we split in a day if you liked watching this video please like the video subscribe to the channel and press the bell button in order to be the first one to get notifications about the new video until the next time stay safe stay healthy good luck and goodbye